hello guys welcome back if you're new to my channel hello welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for staying tuned with me as always so today's video is going to be on my highlighting and contour routine as you guys can see my flakish style of highlighting and contouring video this is a quick disclaimer here this is how I do my own foundation highlighting and contouring okay my own style so um, if you want to know how I do all of that then please stay tuned so let's jump right into the tutorial all the products that I'm going to be using will be listed on screen or in the description bar below so please check them out if I don't leave it on screen the first product I like to use is the Mac the Mac strobe cream and this is really really good because it helps moisturize my face so the next product is the my primer and I'm using the manual override primer I talked highly about this product in my last video my get to know me video so watch the video to find out all, of, all I had to say about this product and like I said I like to use a pea size of anything I use I look towards here because of my mirror next I like to go in with my Smashbox primer water I like this and I spritz some all over my face Next, I'm going to be using the orange concealer or corrector that is from the Sleek Corrector and Concealer Palette. And I'm going to use this to brighten under my eye area and some the size of my lip area because those places seem to be a bit darker, like so. Then I'm going to use my damp um, beauty blender to blend that out. Now that has been done, I'm going to be using my foundation and this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This happens to be one of my all-time favorite foundation. But before I apply, I have to shake it properly because that's what the instruction says. Then I take about two pumps first. I spread it with my fingers around my face. This foundation is buildable, so if it's not enough, you can always um, go back and take more. So now that we've done that, I'm going to be blending out my foundation. And for this, I really, I just found this product. This is the Body Blender by Beauty Blender. And I really love this. This has been my go-to blending sponge for my foundation because it's really fast for me to blend with this. So I, I use the same technique I use if I'm going to use a beauty blender, but just this time I'm using a body blender. Since I didn't use any concealer on the top part of my brows, I like to use the sharp edge of the sponge to kind of clean up that space. Make sure you take what's left on the sponge down your neck area the jawline so once we're done with that the next step is to contour and highlight when it comes to contouring and highlighting i like to use different products i have a lot that i use um i'm going to start with the highlighting products i have the nars radiance creamy concealer in caramel that i use to highlight i can also use whenever i feel like the la girl pro concealer in fawn sometimes i use the kevin of wine sensual skin and hansen sx11 or I go for my Studio Fix Concealer by MAC in um, NW45. So today I'm just going to go with the NARS Creamy Concealer in Caramel. Normally you highlight the part that na light naturally heats, so that would be the under part of the eye, the bridge of the nose, the chin area, the center of your forehead, and around your cupid's bow. You can apply this in dots, or you can draw an inverted triangle. I'm going to show you how to draw the inverted triangle on this side, and I'm going to show you how to apply it in dots on this side. You don't really have to be precise with the product placement. So here I have the inverted triangle, and here I have it in dots. Whichever way you choose to apply the product under your eye is fine. Then I'm going to apply some, not too much, on my forehead because I have big forehead, like I'm among the forehead gang. So I'm just going to place it at this part of my forehead, just somewhere here just something like that I'm going to take back the sponge that I used to blend my corrector I don't like to use the same sponge that I use for my foundation for my highlights because I like to make sure that I have some product on, of the foundation left on the sponge so that I can blend out the highlights with my foundation I like to start with the other parts of my face before going under my eye area and to blend this you want to be going in the dabbing motion the secret to achieving a very good highlighted um, face is to make sure that you blend the product properly. So take your time in blending. 
this is not obviously an everyday routine so i would advise you do this if you're going somewhere or you want to look extra flaky that day so you might want to create out time to devote to blending because blending is the key okay so if you want to reduce the shape of your nose take the pointy part of the sponge and try to push in the product to the inner corners of your nose like towards the this part where your brow um starts that's line but don't get it to this end just let it stop at this the part where the nose curves so just take it in gently so to blend the highlight on my nose bridge of my nose i like to use my mac 224 blending brush so i like to go like in a straight like windshield wiper motion as you can see i didn't take it all the way up here i just started from where i placed the product which is this dented part of my face everybody has that the part that goes in i started from there and blended it just to the tip of my nose here i didn't take it all the way up here or bring it all the way down no because i personally feel that's the only part that light naturally hits light doesn't get in here because of the fact that it goes in so to cream contour i'm going to be using this product from this concealer palette like six concealer palette and it's from goss makeup artist foundation is a goss makeup artist foundation i think it's a collaboration with um maculate professional so it has like six different shades i'm going to be using the darkest shade there i don't know if it's showing properly so i'm going to be using this dark shade to contour but i'm going to be using this one first and then this one so it, it kind of has that gradient transition effect like from dark to really dark i'm going to show you guys to contour you want to feel where your cheekbone is and if you feel like you can't feel it or you don't know where it is that's fine just place a brush or whatever it could be a card anything place it from this top part of your ear this part where is where your ear starts here and drag it all the way to where to the tail of your brow you shouldn't take it any further than that so from your ear to this part even before placing the product you find out that you can see a part of your face that looks naturally dark and this applies to most people that i know that have cheekbones it, you will see it like as you can see mine it's really obvious here so if you can see that line i would advise you follow that line but if you cannot then use the ear to end of your brow method i also like to place it around the my forehead area the perimeters of my forehead this is because i want to make my forehead appear smaller since i have a large forehead depending on how small you want the forehead to be you can either bring it all the way down to make it look smaller or you take it all the way up to make it look bigger also remember to place it around here your jaw area this helps in slimming down the face and then last but not the least you want to take a smaller brush please use a smaller brush for this so that you don't end up spreading it too far and then take the same color that's not the darkest shade the lighter the second to the darkest shade and then place this at the sides of your nose with this thin i use a thin brush at and then here so the v parts of your nose you want to place it there now to deepen the contour that we're going to be seeing here i'm going to use another small brush and this is from rc cosmetics a small pointy um, blending brush i'm going to take the darkest shade that i said i was going to use that is this one and then place it at the very end of that contour line that we created before the very very end do not take it beyond that do the same thing to the other side just the end of the of the contour line that we created i like to use products that are two to three <laughs> i like to use products that are two to three shades darker than my skin tone for contouring and two to three shades lighter for highlighting so to blend out my contour i'm going to be using the mac 188 brush it's just a simple brush sorry mine is kind of dirty but it's still going to do the job so i like to go in the back like windshield motion back and forth and then i like to take it up a bit then the areas around my forehead i go in a circular motion and i do this in a circular motion so that 
it doesn't create any sharp line so it kind of blends the highlights with it remember to take this contour blending towards the hairline to make your blending easier i would advise you hold the brush at the tip don't hold it here because if you hold it here you apply more pressure and then you're going to kind of move the product around so hold it here to blend anytime you want to blend anything be it your eyeshadow anything hold the brush at the tip so by holding it it softens the pressure it softens the product and reduces the pressure you apply on the brush blend my nose like i said i like to use thin brushes for my nose so i'm going to be using this very thin crease brush i got this from switch cosmetics this is from their is mine brush collection and i'm going to use this in, um, in the same up and down motion windshield motion to blend out that contour remember to try and blend them together with the highlights that you have around so that it doesn't leave one sharp line this is optional but one thing i like to do is to use what's left on the brush and this corner this point this dented part of your nose to that side trace it to the middle and apply use what's left on the brush go sideways this is going to give you that pointy lifted nose look So it's kind of causing the demarcation there which is separating the highlight leaving the highlight just at the tip of your nose and the upper part of your nose which gives you that lifted look so once we're done with that remember i said the foundation foam i just like to go over the highlight and the contour to make sure that i don't have like harsh lines around my face so it blends everything together for me because if i use the highlights the sponge i use to blend my highlights is going to lighten the contour once we're done with that the next process or the next step is to set your highlights i also talked about this products that i use to set my highlights extensively in my last video i think you guys should watch it for all the products that i mentioned but i mentioned sasha 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 i mentioned sasha buttercup Sasha buttercup um, setting powder and this is what I use most of the time if I'm not using this I'm going to be using the the nine topaz but um, topaz powder and I like to mix this with the banana powder I don't use the banana powder alone simply because I personally feel it makes me look a bit ashy and for this I'm just going to be using this so I like to use my booty blender like um, Irisha would call it but my beauty blender take some of that product not too much before you apply your setting powder make sure that you go over that area you highlighted one more time with your um, blending sponge so that there are no creases so if creases are already forming you might want to do that like blend it out again before using the setting powder so that you don't set the crease with it so I just take very little of the product then I use it to set my under eye area it's the same process that you use in applying this apply it in the dabbing motion make sure the product is not too much remember to take that highlight powder to the inner corners of your nose the part where I said you should highlight alone if you want you can do the uh, face so that you can stretch out your skin and kind of look up a bit when going to the owner to the um, lash line the bottom lash line so that you don't put any product in your eye so the only difference between this style of setting and baking is that in baking you take more product like you take a lot of powder and push that under your eye area allow the powder to sit for a while that way the powder the skin absorbs the number of product that it needs and it sits longer there by setting that place and making it look like just like the way you bake food you put it in a in the oven and allow it to stay in the oven for a while but i don't like to do that a lot because i have kind of dry skin so it's going to only make me look more patchy and all so i just apply what i need to set the concealer and prevent it from creasing and that pretty much works for me. Take with the pointy part, just 
highlight the center that part of the nose already created the demarcation so we don't want to apply the setting powder on that part because it's going to lighten it then use the body to blend everything together to make that cheekbone pop i just like to use the setting powder underneath my contour well this time i'm going to apply more of that just underneath the contour line and take it all the way to the mouth area so can you see the difference now you can actually see the the contour here compared to here here it's less visible but here it's really obvious you can also use your concealer for this but i don't i don't like to use the concealer because it kind of looks um too much and not natural and i'm all about the natural life okay so I don't want everything to look you know so now to marry all the products I have on my face I like to use my Bobbi Brown sheer powder because it's sheer so it's not going to give me as much coverage as the full powder would do and I like to go over the whole face with this this would take off any excess powder and blend all the products together. Leave it here and call it a day. But if you're going for that extra flicky cheekbones contour, then you're going to have to set that with a powder contour. So to give it that extra oomph, I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in tan to medium to tan. And I like it because they are the the shades are not as dark as I have with some of my other um, powder contour products. You can either use that or you use the sleek contour kit or if you have the Kat Von D shade and light contour kit, you can use this as well. But for today, I'm just going to use this. For some reason, I like to use this with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. I know it's called highlighter, but this works for me for my contour. Mm, don't judge me. So I take Havana, a mixture of Havana and Espresso. Dust off any excess. Using the tip here, I go back and forth on the contour, resting the other part of the brush up. So it kind of um, sharpens that line while softening the product. So then I take what's left on the brush and sweep it across i like to take what's left on it and go over my forehead area i don't like to apply more products here so that it doesn't look too muddy or cakey to further contour my nose i'm just going to be using havana which is the second to the darkest shade and i'm using this on the mac 221 brush it's a very small precise um blending brush this is actually good for your crease as well but i like it so i take very little product like so just on the tip i don't go over the body just the tip of the brush dust off any excess follow the natural contour line we've created before remember to take this into the crease area then remember to use what's left on the product to go over that line that we created in the middle to demarcate the highlights for blush i'm going to be applying the blush by mac and it's called raisin this is actually my favorite blush of all time you dust this on the apples of your cheek taking it all the way up so you start from the middle don't start from the inner corner so the middle dust it all the way to the temple area and then blend everything you can smile if it helps you to find the apples of your cheek the next and final part of this highlight and contour routine is my favorite 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 part and you guys should know me from that by now i love the glue like glue a lot of you have asked me how I get my highlights to be so obvious and popping and all of that and the trick is the trick to that is this I like to use I don't know what to call it now but it's not golden it's more on the silver side I like to use this as a base before applying the golden highlighter it's just like applying a white eyeshadow before applying your colors it's going to make the colors pop so I apply this first and then I layer it with my highlighter from makeup forever or my all-time favorite this product has been discontinued and this is the mac gold bronze um, iridescent powder so this so i take not so much of this product be careful when using this product because if you apply it it can just go from all over the place and i like to use this small highlight brush from zoeva i dust the excess as you can see it's coming off so i have don't dust it too much or else you're going to lose all the product so tap lightly and then the 
top part of the cheekbone here if you smile this part find the top part of the cheekbone just by touching it and then lightly dust this on it if you don't have this brush you can as well use the fan brush another favorite of mine will be the fan brush by elf i like it so so much you can also use the dusting method that would also help you actually if you don't know where your cheekbones are so just dust it can you see that so if you leave it like this it's going to be a bit ashy but like i said that's why we layer the highlight so i like to apply it on my chin forehead area the part that we highlight and very little like very little on my middle finger and then i tap on my nose that circular part that we left and blend it with the I also apply the highlights just here to here as you guys can see you can also apply it on your cupid's bow but i like to do this step once i'm done with my lipstick now it's time to balance it and i'm going to use the bronze powder the iridescent powder by mac called golden bronze like i said this powder has been discontinued but there are so many available highlighters out there you can use the becca champagne pop or the makeup forever one so, can you see that can you see that so I like to dust, dust so check that out from this to this mm -hmm. bam I also like to take some of the golden bronze iridescent powder the highlights and apply that to my brow bone area as well as my the inner corners of my eye this is going to attract light to those areas sorry guys so if the lighting changed i had to close the blinders because um sun was becoming too much and ruining my show so i'm just going to finish up my makeup off camera and i'll be right back so the last and final step about my foundation contouring routine is the part where i spray fix plus i like to spray the fix plus and the primer water together so i go in first with the fix plus and then i use this to set my whole makeup i need to state that if you're spraying anything on your face be it the fix plus or the primer water make sure that it's not too close to your face so about eight to ten inches away see the distance between me and the stuff yeah don't come this way no this way is fine so do it like that So there guys, that was my highlighting, contouring and foundation routine. Remember how I moved from this to this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to check the description bar below. I'm going to be listing all the products that I used on my face and some of the brushes that have names as well as the products I used on my eyes and lip because i didn't mention that here and also please check the description bar below for my social media accounts i'm also going to leave them here on the screen for you guys to connect with me please remember to give this video a thumbs up please remember to subscribe to my channel and please remember to share this video with everyone and anyone you think will find this video helpful i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye